In a last attempt effort to find Stephen, Philip rushes back to the tent in order to acquire an ancient artifact that might help save them both. Relieved that it still works, Philip must now find a signal so he can contact his friend Stephen. And so, best friends Stephen and Philip were separated in the woods. But something wasn't right. Stephen was being followed. Being without Stephen for so long made Philip realize how much he loved him. Philip and Stephen have been through a lot together. More than anybody could ever imagine. They played basketball together. They made music together. Because they, they love making music with uh, with all their instruments. And they had a lot. They had a piano and a, and a guitar. And maybe a few acoustics. and It was great. Meanwhile, Stephen had realized he was being chased. And was trying to run away as fast as he could. Ooh-wee, that was a close call. Scotty seemed to follow Stephen wherever he went. No matter how far he went away from Scotty, he kept following him. So, he just tried to go in the woods and see if he could get away. But, of course, he, he followed him again. Eventually, Stephen stumbled upon a path to where he thought he'd be safe from Scotty. But it seemed like nothing could escape the eternal grasp of Scotty. Not even poor, poor Stephen Nemo. But Stephen got away, at least for a while. Scotty had to search for at least an hour or two, but finally he stumbled upon Stephen again. But searching had made Scotty tired. Stephen had finally got away, and Scotty had finally given up. But not completely. Scotty decides to locate their tent in order to find something that they might possess. But in the process, wrecks their tent. And ends up empty handed and ultimately gives up. You know what I want.